I just wanted to add to the best practice. Uh, so thank you, Virginia, for starting this. Um, one program that I use um, to help me with um, not only putting myself in, in front of really cool, um, I guess, backgrounds, but it also helps me teach in certain ways that I want to. So even though I bought Camstasia, I think that's what it's called, um, another great program that I found after I bought Camstasia is OBS Studios. Um, it's an open source program, so it's free to use. It gets updated constantly because it's open source, meaning that people who actually care about the project just go in and tinker with it. Um, and it's used for gamers. So when they stream themselves playing video games, usually you see the game in the background and then they're in the front playing it. This is kind of what they're using. So it's a really cool, powerful tool. And you can see this is what I'm looking at right now when I look at my program. It's a really cool, powerful tool that lets you do things. So um, the left side of my um, is the preview. The right side is what's actually recording right now or what's showing in the output. Um, so I have like my backgrounds, which I could change different ones. So right now it's um, up living room, but I could put like the haunted mansion inside out. You know, that's kind of what I do for fun. And it just helps the kids know that I'm human and stuff. and not a robot and have personalities. So it's fun to have. And even crazy ones like this. But I have to warn you with the Matrix one, it like total bat, like lags online, so I never use it. But it's neat to see. Um, let me do screencast. So this is kind of what I have. And let me just show you my screen so you guys know what I'm recording. Um, and OBS is actually really easy to find. You just Google it. So the first one is OBS Studios um, and you just click on it. You click on the, the program or the OS that you're using, whether it's Windows or Mac. Click on it and it'll start downloading. You install. Um, I don't want to click on it because I already have it installed. The next thing you want to install, if you want to use this as a virtual cam, meaning that you want to put yourself in front of an object or a virtual background, then you also want to download OBS Virtual Cam, which is a plugin that they have that makes your computer think that this program is a, a source for your video. So um, right now I have a Logitech, but now I have Logitech and the OBS program. So when I have, like, let's say Google Meet or even Zoom, they're singing this right screen of mine, or let's say this screen of mine. So if I cast this out, it'll show, whoops. Okay, so it'll show that if I cast it out. Now, once you install it, it's actually pretty um, straightforward. So you install this one. This one, you need to click on this one. So I guess they updated it. Um, so just click on that, and then just click right here on GitHub, and then you'll get the things. You install both. Um, install the program first, and install the virtual cam, and then when you open it up, the first time, it's not gonna look like this. It's gonna look like going to look like this. Now I'm afraid to get rid of my program because I might stop recording. Let me see. Maybe it won't. Hello. So yeah, so now you have a bunch of stuff going on, but you might see, let's see. I don't think I can, so I need to go back to studio mode. So the first time when you hit test, just ignore my right side of my screen right here. You really only see the preview side. Um, so you might go what's going on, like there's nothing here. So you kind of have to add stuff. So on the bottom left, you see scenes, then you see sources, you see my audio mixer, and then the stuff on the right, if you want to record. Um, so right now I've been recording, or you could actually even stream live to like Twitch, or I don't know what other gaming sites there are, but stuff like that. Um, so I have test right here. Well, I guess I, you could also do um, face, not Facebook, Facebook Live, and also YouTube. Um, right here, I have it on test to kind of show you what it looks like from the start. So here are different scenes or I guess different things that you want. So like I said, I have my live cam, I have my loop, which is the matrix background. Um, I'm recording on the screencast right now and test. And now I want to add stuff. So you click on the add button and you can add all these different things onto my screen. So the main thing you want to add is if you want yourself. So I'm going to add my existing self. And then here you have me. Now this one's already set up with my green screen. So normally if you don't, let's see, let me not see it. So here you can set up 
your green screen if you like. So if you have a certain color in the background, you could take it out. All you have to do is push add a filter. They have different types of um, filters that they have. The one that you want to hit is chroma key. So chroma key knocks out a color that you don't want. So here you can see I have it set for green, but you could kind of take out what other color you want, play with the settings. Um, but even if you don't have a green screen, what's nice about this, let me kind of just do this for now. What's nice about this is you can crop yourself. So if you just want your face, you just crop yourself and then make yourself bigger or smaller. Okay, so that's really neat even if you don't have a green screen to kind of get rid of that. Um, I do have a green screen, so what I could do is add that filter. So right click, filters. I'm gonna click on that so now I can see my filter. So um, that's just me. And then what's nice is you can add background. So if I make myself really big, I can add a image background and I already have stuff loaded. Um, we could do the Haunted Mansion. So now you'll go, oh crap, where did I go? So it's kind of like um, layers in a program. So right now the, my newest layer is in front of me. So just right click, go to order, um, and then move down. And then you can play with a lot of these things so that you could transform it, flip it left and right. Um, it could set different colors. So there's a lot of really neat things that you could do with this. Um, so now here's my filter. So when you are um, casting, or using this for your classroom, then you could just, they'll see the background behind you um, based on that. So hopefully that helped. Another cool thing that I've discovered recently is screen casting. So let me get rid of this one. You could ask your a video source if you want. So if you want to talk in front of a video that you're showing, you can. Um, you could do display capture. So um, I already have my left monitor, so if I add existing, click on it, and now you see like craziness because you have my monitor on my monitor. So let me hide that as well. So you could put yourself or in, in front of or behind certain things. So it's actually really neat to have. And like I said, um, you could record things right now. So um, I could record, stop, and have my lecture ready to go. And what I like about doing this is I usually show my kids my lecture content-wise. And I'll be online with them and I tell them if you have a question just pause come back to chat we'll kind of figure it out and go back that way um, you know they can ask questions without slowing down the, or speeding up the pace for other students and other students could also see the chat online but the main thing is what's nice is um, if my kids running around they're good like my lecture doesn't get disturbed or if I have PC problems or I'm lagging so at least that part is good so um, I could be live with them as they watch my lecture, come out, pause, do that. I could also talk in front of a video that I want them to see or show them how to do things. So this is a really cool thing with no time limits. Um, and it's the only downside compared to Camstasia is you can't edit. So you're just recording. And then if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Um, but with Camstasia, you can edit, post edit, add like little blobs here and there but you are paying, I think I paid 150 for that, but this is free, so it's a cool thing. Hopefully that helped you guys, and you're welcome to email me if you have any questions on how to use this. Take care.